Good morning, ducks. <laughs> Come on, duck. Let's go. All right, guys. We've got to be quiet because uh, I'm going to do the duck rush a little different this morning. Um, I'm going to sneak up to the pen and just let the uh, the ducks out instantly. It's about uh, 20 to 8 right now. I'm, I'm behind the corner hiding because as soon as the ducklings see me, they freak out. And I don't want to repeat of yesterday's uh, duck rush out of the pen. Because I got a hunch I'm going to get a lot of flack in the comments. But hey guys, I didn't, I, I've been trying to use Doug at the gate. Uh, you know, I've had him sitting by the gate and that was slowing them down. But they got used to Doug sitting at the gate and you know, they're just bur you know, barrel rolling out uh, the little end or exit I should say. But I want to give you an update here on the fundraiser. Finally, uh, we pay and GoFundMe got back to me. Turned out they had some kind of technical difficulty on their site. So I was up to like, I was like freaking 1230 last night dealing with that emails back and forth. And uh, so, so supposedly the money is going to be released. Uh, I'll, you know, next week I'll have it like Tuesday or something like that. Not the end of the world, but uh, I'm going in the, uh, the bush this morning cut a bunch of trees down um, and then I have to go on a road trip this afternoon to pick up a bunch of supplies and I've, I've seen a couple of people asking questions because the fundraiser you know we've gone over the total which I can't thank you guys enough um, because I made some uh, I wouldn't say mistakes I omitted some things that I didn't think about um, I, I got to buy a bunch of other things I've got a bunch of patio stones for the feeding station and uh, I didn't realize it that I needed 16 patio stones totally forgot about them so you know it doesn't take long to add up at I think they're like eight bucks a piece so uh, the the money that we're going over believe me it's going right into the pen uh, and I forgot to buy you know big spikes for the corner braces and you know there's like almost 30 bucks worth of steel right there so uh, you know trust me guys the money is all going into the pen so let's go let the ducks out uh, before they know I'm out here and then I've got to go into the uh, the bush not taking a camera in the bush because I've got chainsaw equipment and I've got to stay focused on just cutting tree as many trees down as possible uh, for what I need for this weekend. Okay, the ducks are still sleeping so it should be a pretty calm rush this morning. Okay, right now they're still staying calm. <laughs> I can't believe what I gotta do to let these ducks out. Okay, gates are off. Oh no, they're coming over to the gate. Okay, they don't realize it's open yet. So this is a good thing. Come on over slow. Oh no, look at them picking up speed. We're doing good so far. Oh no, it's getting jammed up. Slow down, ducks. Now, this is better. Not like yesterday. Yesterday was bad. Hey, Doug, stop. Stop, Doug. Stop. Sit. Good job. You know, sometimes Doug can be so awesome that way, uh, you know, you can get him to stop where he, you know, when he's coming to you. But you know, when the dog gets something in his head, you can yell stop till you're blue in the face. Okay, well this is turning out to be a good rush this morning, guys. So that's the secret when you want to let a ton of ducks out of a little hole. There's a whole bunch in the barn sleeping. All the adults are behind me. Wondering what's going on. <laughs> You're at the wrong gate. The big one's open. I'll go open the uh, the little gate. Then we'll go let the uh, the little ducklings out and go check out the ones that uh, were born yesterday. Oh, the ducklings are going right for the water here. Oh, 
I'm, I'm debating on going on a feed run today or tomorrow morning. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. But I've got to pick up some more scratch. But I, this is the area, guys, right here that I measured. I totally forgot that I needed patio stones for this area. I've already got eight patio stones, but I need eight more to finish the area. Because uh, I want to put the water station uh, at this end. Oh, hang on here, I got a problem. I want to put the water station at this end, and I want to put the feed station up here on the higher part. And I want to, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some big uh, cedar posts in, probably about 16 footers, in the ground so that I can put a um, not like I'm not sort of like a carport roof over top of this area, just where the feed is. But I didn't even think about it that I, you know, I needed eight patio stones just for here alone. Not eight. Is it eight? No, 16. It's 16, not eight. Because it's four by four is the area, so. That's even worse than I thought. So I need 16 patio stones. I like eight bucks a piece. So the extra money on the uh, the fundraiser is definitely going to be used here. But this is the area right here. I want to get, I want to have the feed and the water over on this side of the property. I want to get it away from the house. Uh, one, it's just the, you know, ducks when they eat and they drink, that's when they defecate. Uh, because the dirtiest spot is always around the, the actually the dirtiest spot is always around the, the water because uh, you know because anything goes in it's got to come out um, and because as soon as ducks get water in their mouth it comes out the other end uh, and the food area so they don't defecate as much around where they eat it's more where they drink so but it's a good idea to have the food and the water close to each other so when they're eating they can get a drink of water because right now in the pen where I had the, uh, the, uh, the food before, they had to go from one end of the pan to the other end of the pan to get a drink, uh, which really wasn't the best setup. So it's good. this is gonna make a much better setup. Plus with the gates that I'm gonna have, the big gate there and a big gate here, uh, during the day when the gates are open, no matter what side the property the ducks are on, it's basically gonna be like a through affair to the food uh, in the pan so they can go into the pan or they can come back from the swamp and you know they can go right to the feeding station in the yard i'm so excited guys about getting this uh, pan done this weekend it's gonna make it's gonna make it so much easier here you have no idea like so much easier please look at this coming up i'm talking hey eh? so they're coming over to check me out the little clocks are starting So the hatch is going inside. I, today, uh, it's gonna be interesting what we get today. I don't know what's gonna happen, guys. I don't know what happened with those eggs, you know, being that they didn't get turned, and I don't know how long they didn't get turned for. So I don't know what kind of drop-off rate we're gonna end up having, or what's gonna, you know, what's going on, I don't know. All right, let's get uh, the ducklings out of the back, uh, into the front here, I gotta set this up for them. And then uh, we'll go check on the little babies in the back. And then I gotta go to the bush. I can hear them in there, so let's let them out.
I've got some really good news though. Nobody died last night. All the ducklings are still alive. I put down there at 10.30 last night. I can't believe last night. What a night. You know, I, I did the, the sort, you know, I did partial sort, then I had supper, then I did the rest of the sort. And then I discovered, you know, what we pay, you know, we pay and go fund me. And, you know, I was up till like, I'm not kidding you guys. I think it was like 12.25 when I went to bed. And then at 4.55, wide awake with my list of things to do. This time of year, it's like I survive on no sleep. I don't know how I do it. I honestly have no idea how I do it. Hello, little ducks, come on. Come on out of the corner. Come on. You know, you were all over the place when I first came in here. Come on. Hello. Hello, ducks. I talked to you last night. You should remember me. Hello. Hello, little ducks. Come on. Oh, we got a couple weak ones here, or they're tired. This little guy here, he's probably not going to make it. And they won't come out of the corner. Come on out. Hello. Come on. Hello, ducks. Hello. I don't understand this, how the first batch, you know, was so receptive to me. And I talked to these guys last night when I was doing them in the tray. I kept saying hello and chatting to them and... Hello! Hello ducks! Come here! There's my hand! Hello! Nothing, eh? I'd stay and play, but I gotta work. Look at the back of me eating. These guys are really growing good too. They're all growing good. I cleaned everything in here yesterday, guys. Like I, I totally stripped the barn. Totally stripped it yesterday. Cleaned it out. I'm surprised how dirty it is in here because it was actually pretty warm last night. And normally when it's warm, the other ducks, uh, they sleep outside. They're so close to being outside. Actually, I think last year I put them out at three weeks old. But I'm waiting this year to go, uh, you know, till I get the, the pen done because uh, I want to get the feeding station set up and just, I just want to, uh, I don't want to be moving things around twice so it won't hurt them being in here. And it's actually good because they're still on the starter because technically you're supposed to keep them on the starter for the first 30 days. So 30 days, I think is July the 4th. I think it's July the 4th or the 5th is 30 days. So this is the last weekend that uh, the 428 of the original horde, which we haven't lost one single duck out of 428. That is like unbelievable. Actually this year, the drop off rate, uh, you know, on, uh, you know, fat fatalities on the young ones, it's, it's really low, really low. Because last year we lost a lot more ducks that would just drop off dead, you know. You'd come in the morning and you'd find dead ducklings. All right guys. I'm, um, I gotta go and chainsaw up here and get all my gear on and uh, I'm not taking the camera into the bush because I've just got too much equipment to drag in there. Basically, I'm gonna take a wheelbarrow load of uh, stuff in with me to uh, start chopping trees down because I've gotta get all these posts done that I need because I need a bunch of, uh, actually it's 11 foot is the size I need. Uh, and I need, I think like 16 of them. So I got a bunch of trees to cut. I think it's 16, 16 or 18. I don't know, I'll get in there just cutting happy here. But I've got to, uh, I got to get my act in the gear. Plus this afternoon, I've got to decide on what kind of road trip I'm doing. Either I'm going to go to the feed store and pick up the fencing wire, which is supposed to come in today, um, or a feed run. I don't know. It's going to be either or. Uh, because of whatever I don't do today, I'll be doing tomorrow. Because Colin is supposed to get here mid-afternoon, early afternoon. He said he's leaving early, so I don't know what time for sure. But I've got to be, I got to be ready for the guy. All right, and, and I gotta go do the inspection tomorrow on the rental, uh, that at the rental place, they, I gotta do the walk around on the equipment before they'll deliver it. So, got a full, uh, full uh, schedule planned here for myself. And once again, guys, thank you so much for uh, you know, helping the show here on uh, expanding the pen so that you know, we can handle the ducks. Oh, let's go inside 
and look at the ducklings in the hatcher before I turn the camera off and go and start chainsawing. Oh, and the light turned on just in time. So that's what we've got here. So today, it should be a better burst. Actually, tonight, I should have a good burst of uh, ducklings. But like I said, you know, I don't know what this is going to be like because of the, uh, the incubator problem. I don't know. We'll see. And these are the Muscovy, allegedly Muscovy eggs. The alleged Muscovy eggs, I should say. So, and the alleged has uh, three little ducklings in the bottom there. All right, I gotta go do some serious, sweaty, dirty, uh, hard work. Just got back from town. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm wiped out. I spent too long in the bush. I, uh, I got cut in a way and I think I cut about 40 or 50 posts. I've got more to cut. I cut a whole bunch of trees and just fell them down at the end there, but I've got to finish it off tomorrow. I think I've got enough posts. I should have enough posts. And I went 11 footers this time because we're, I'm putting them down five feet so they go below the frost line and then six feet above for the wire. But this, uh, this uh, pen is not going to get screwed up in the spring by the frost. But, uh, you know, cutting, uh, it's got to be at least 50 uh, posts. I'm, uh, I'm wiped out. A lot of moving trees around, branches, brush, oh. and I got to finish tomorrow. But we got to unload the truck. I got to unload the truck, and we got to. I got to do chores, and I got to go through the egg trays and see who hatched. So, so there's the wire, guys. There's the corner crosser wire. We've got our insulators. And uh, I went with the wire rope instead of the wire because it's going to be a lot easier to work with. And, uh, the rabbit clips for putting the wire together on the bottom because that wire is going to be on the bottom. Well, one foot out, two feet up, and then that's four feet. So it's a six foot high fence. Well, five and a half actually it'll work out too. So I'm gonna unload the uh, feed here. I got enough feed to get me through till uh, Tuesday. And then I'm gonna go to Robert's because I'll have the big feeder set up in the pan and we're on to scratch then. This hatch is not looking too good, guys. Hello, little ducks. A lot of literally weak looking ducks, weak, like really weak. A lot of ducks covered in yolk. I, I, I gave about a dozen of them a bath. They're back in the uh, hatcher. There was um, seven more that pipped and died. Um, and I think the eggs that haven't pipped, they're history. We'll know tomorrow. Hello, ducks. It's getting close to the end of the night here. They want inside to, to feed. I'm thinking, guys, because the hatcher didn't uh, stop turning, I mean, uh, we had a problem. Two. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, <laughs> twenty. Doug's helping me count here. Twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two. 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, and 47. Come on, Dougie. Look out, ducks. Let me through. This is a bad hatch, guys really bad hatch I don't I oh man I'm thinking that incubator was broken a lot longer than we thought or I thought anyways Doug's very interested because it's day-old uh, chirping sound so 
So what did we get here? Two, four, six, eight, ten, and a dog head. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen. And there's about uh, 18 or 20 up in the incubator, or the hatcher, that I had to uh, give baths to because it was so crusty. <laughs> Doug, oh you. You like them when they're a day old, right Doug? Here ducks. They're not as excited anymore over eggshells. I think they've gotten too many of them. Now the little ones uh, have developed a taste for the eggshells because I watched them earlier uh, clean up the, the remains of what the adults left. They're just a little bit apprehensive of uh, weaseling their way in between the adults. Cautious. So here's the uh, ones that I had to give baths to. They were like just caked up hard as rock. Uh, it, was, it took a lot of soaking. Uh, to get them. I had to get a little tiny pail so they could actually stand in the water and let them soak. They were so, like it was just like coated with cement. Anyway, so that's them. And there's like six or seven that I rescued that uh, they seem to be, uh, you know, they, they look pretty uh, alive in the shells. They had done a lot of work, uh, you know, cutting the ends of the shells off, but just stopped. So who knows, maybe they're on, they're gonna die, I don't know. Now the rest of the eggs, I got a bad feeling. I think the incubator was not working. The egg turning tray hadn't been working for a while. I got a hunch that all of these eggs, I think the ducklings might have drowned because the eggs didn't get turned. Because I did notice on this batch when I was rescuing, a lot more of them were like in the middle of the shell and at the wrong end of the shell. Not like the first hatch, you know, or even the second hatch, like it was unbelievable how many were in the wrong end of the shell. So I don't know if the incubator uh, was screwing up before I noticed it. Anyway, so that, that's the deal on that. But I have a bit of a, a surprise announcement. When the incubator died on me that morning and, you know, that I got up at 4 a.m. and I, I discovered it was broken and I fixed it, I made the big decision to put all the eggs that I had in my basement in the incubator. I think it's 504. If I'm wrong, I'll put the number on the screen. I don't know what the success rate's going to be on them. We're going to candle them. I've got it set in my electronic day timer uh, 10 days. We're going to candle the eggs. I think it's due July 22nd uh, is what they're due. So right now we've got another batch in the incubator because I really want to hit a thousand. Like I really, I don't think I'm going to hit a thousand, probably 900, but um, like it's got to be better than what I just took down to the barn because I think I was at 580. Plus, I don't know what it, I took down to the barn the last two days. Six, I might be at 700. Might be at 700. So I would like to at least hit nine. So right now we've got uh, nine trays at 63. And one tray is short, I think seven or something like that. I was gonna keep it a surprise and not tell you guys and just have a surprise hatch in July. Keep it a secret. But because things just totally washed out on this hatch. I'm not, you know, too happy about the outcome. I wanted to give you some, you know, some hope that we've got more ducklings coming so we can get a bigger flock because we're going to have the awesome pen that's going to enable us to have a bigger flock. So, you know, I just, that's why I did it when I just, I just took a, a, a leap of faith here, which it's, it sure looks like it was a good decision uh, based on your response for helping me make the pen bigger. So that's it for today. I got to go take care of my ducks. I got to put the babies inside. I got to move them around. I got to put the other ducks inside. I got a lot of fiddling, fiddling around because of the pen situation right now, but that's getting fixed this weekend. And please note this weekend, like the videos are going to be far and few between. Like there might not be any videos this weekend because I've got to focus on the work situation. Once the work's done, I'm going to video everything this weekend. Colin and I are going to have cameras. We're going to, you know, we're going to do it. I just, I, I do not have the time to run equipment, cut trees, dig holes, put wire up and edit. It's physically impossible. So please bear in mind that this weekend, you know, there's going to be a drought on the duck adventure on YouTube. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show.